Happy Friday. I told you we're coming back and welcome to the re weekly recap. This is number 76 and I've got one of the best with me. Uh, good day, Michael Paul. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, Rick. How are you doing today? Hey, you know, uh, I told everyone we we're going to take a little bit of a pause. I've got some new things up my sleeve for the weekly recap and we're going to keep doing it. But uh, we have been busy here at the Veeam Green Machine. In fact, I'm not even moved in. I moved to a new office and all my crap is right there, Michael. So I still need to uh, still need to get unpacked. But uh, community's been busy and uh, we're going to stick to the rule this time. We're only going to show three things. You ready to jump into it? Let's do it, Rick. All right, mate. So uh, I know you had some leave. But we uh, put up the Vimon discussion thread as one of our first ones. And uh, I really liked that I got some good feedback of what did and did not work for the virtual experience. Uh, not as busy as last year, gonna say. We had a system outage in the middle uh, for the platform, so it blipped it a little bit. But uh, it was good to see a lot of great uh, action from Vanguard's Legends and other members through Vimon, which I think I'm still kind of recovering from. Yeah, I found it quite handy. As you said, I was on a holiday, so I didn't get to see Vimon as it was unfolding, but it was really nice that I could just dip in and out every now and again and see the discussion board. It was great to see, but Rick, you were there. How was it? What was your favorite bit? So um, I'll, I'll make a broad statement for anyone kind of looking at getting back into events and stuff. I'll tell you it was different, but familiar. You know, it's different now to do these types of things. But I'll tell you the familiar is way stronger than the different. Um, that's the general statement. And then the specific statement I'll say is it was freaking awesome. And we had a great uh, preview of E12. And so uh, somewhere down here, I'll mention how uh, some of the content is available at vmon.com. Um, I talked about that. Probably I should update it because we're going to have an, a milestone coming up pretty soon where we're going to put some more content in there. So um, there's hours and hours of great stuff, but uh, no, it was good for me. So um, that one was my post and I'm not just picking it because I did it. I'm picking it because vmon is kind of a thing, but we actually are going to not really break the rule, Michael, but this one's been on before and it's back. Marco, I think that's the first time that's ever happened. It's the first time, but Marco did a significant update of his free certification resources for Cybersecurity Month because this one came back up to the top and I'm like, wait, Cybersecurity Month is October. And um, I mean, I got to think, Michael, and what you do and all of us really, cybersecurity comes up every day. Well, exactly. We, uh, anything that's connected to the internet now, we have to think about the security side of things. And I noticed that security is a constant recurring theme throughout Veeam on there. So it's great to see that Veeam have been taking that seriously. And it's great that Marco's added some extra resources here for everyone to jump into. And the best part about the resource collection here, I'm scrolling through and looking, is that, um, yeah, uh, minus Veeam University, and the, the Kubernetes learning site, really all of these are not Veeam. So, you know, Veeam is really central to the backup side of things, and it's a nice adjacency to a cybersecurity strategy. But all the other things should be part of a cybersecurity strategy as well. So, Marco, you have the very distinct honor of being the only post featured twice on the weekly recap, and that's what you get for a significant update. Cool, cool. Up, Marco? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm setting a bad precedent here. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. We'll be monitoring this one. It'll be your rule of three again. Indeed. Well, I'm sticking to three, but yep. not like, you know, like, I guess it's like, a, you know, a, a standalone one time. Yeah. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Third thing is uh, a highlight. Now, Jeff didn't write the best practices guide, but he, he highlighted something that I can't believe uh, I didn't really... Uh, bring up, and that's the fact that there is a best practices guide. So he's talking about the best VCSP best practices. Actually, I think that's a type. Oh, it should be VCSP for Veeam cloud and service providers not versus the product, the Veeam service provider console, the VSPC. So I don't actually think we're using that acronym yet. I'll fix that on the back end for you, Jeff. But if you go to this website, everyone, you can get the service provider best practices bit. Now, this is good, but not everybody's a service provider. So what's interesting, uh, 
is that if you go to this and just put in VBR, oh yeah, then you got the Veeam backup and replication best practices. So Michael, my question to you, um, best practices, especially when they're provided by architects and systems engineers who use the product every day, what's the real world value of something like that? There's huge real world value. It doesn't matter whether this is your first deployment or your 50th. When you're going through there, this is the road best traveled. These are the common design decisions that people have come across and found that it works in the real world. Yeah. Um, you know, the Veeam architects that are creating this, well, they're far smarter than I. And you can see the effort that goes into this. You can see the performance tuning that goes into this, the security mindset that supply to this and it's not just for VBR as well there's other best practice offerings there so everyone that's playing with Veeam definitely check out the best practices. Yeah indeed best practices are really central and one thing you'll notice about these best practices is that they are really the previous release and that's actually by design you know um, the if the moment v12 comes out you know why doesn't it update immediately with the best practices guide because they're not field proven yet right so it's very important to have that time value with the implementation from these experts to be shared so thank you for sharing jeff and uh we got something new and i, I ran this by michael i got the michael paul seal of approval we're going to do something new on the recap it's the who's new so uh, what we're going to do is every weekly recap with the new format, we're going to recognize the new people. So um, I just took the first 20 just because it's been a while since we've done the recap. But from MBWare to Akilah.n, uh, welcome everyone uh, to the Veeam community. And uh, we, we hope you enjoy your time here. Awesome. I'm really so jealous of the guy that's got k.j as well yeah i know it's nice and short and sweet little uh little name and you know he uh or she i didn't look i didn't uh creep out the name because we're not that type of show yeah. but <laughs> it's great to get those shorties in there too so awesome welcome everyone so hey michael uh anything going on in your neck of the woods yeah so back from holiday jumping into all the veeam on catch up trying to make sure that i'm up to date with everything going on there um yeah, we'll wait and see because I know in the past there's been little bits that have dripped out after Vimon as well, haven't there, Rick? Oh, so you're on binge watcher and you're not going to join until the whole season is there. I see. Okay. You know. So yeah, so if at vmon.com and that's a perfect transition to the special department news uh, at vmon.com, uh, we do have a big library of content available on demand, and I believe it's June seventh. We're going to have uh, the first wave of the in-person content loaded in. And then I can't remember the next day in June, the rest of it will be loaded in. So it is a little bit of a trickle. Um, we'll be making noise when it's all there. So yeah, that's it. So awesome. Thanks for co-hosting with me today, Michael. Thanks for having us, Rick. All right. Well, everyone, that concludes recap number 76. Thank you and have a great week.